Hi, I finished another from the Women's Pies for Fiction long list. Restless Dolly Moore, sorry, Restless Dolly Maunder by Kate Grenville, who has, who is a previous um, Women's Pies for Fiction winner, I believe. Um, this is another book that it's good. It didn't have the wow factor again. It's another one that I liked, but that's about it really. It was okay. Um, we have the story of Dolly Maunder, almost from birth to death. And we have the story of her restlessness. Yeah, it is the story of a pioneering woman. A woman who knew her own mind, kicked against the conventions of the time, and carved her own path to make her life, as it says here, a life she could call her own. A woman who did all of this so that people after her had the freedoms that she never had. So yes, it is a story of a pioneering woman. But for me, it was... She did this, then she got bored, then she went somewhere else and did that, and then got bored. Then she went somewhere else and did something else and got bored, and then she went somewhere... Etc. 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 At at times, it felt almost like a non-fiction account. She was telling the story of this woman. She did this. She did this. She did. She did this. She did this. I wasn't able to get close to her. I never really got to know Dolly or the other characters that appear in the book. I I, I didn't. I couldn't say that I knew what made her tick, apart from her restlessness. And through her story, we passed through World War I, we passed through the Depression, we passed through World War II. But there's no meat on these historical bones. There was... I, I didn't feel that there was any... feel for the momentous events that were going th that we were passing through and again I didn't feel that there was a sense of place Dolly moved around but you didn't see Australia when she's on the farm you didn't see the spaces the landscapes I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This sounds so, so negative. And, but, but it is, it is an interesting story. It's a story of a pioneering woman. And when you get to the end, there is a picture of Dolly Maunder and a personal insight into Dolly Maunder because Dolly Maunder is Kate Granville's grandmother. So at the end, you could, you get this sort of little personal touch. And you get more from the last half a dozen pages. You, you get more of a feel for Dolly Maunda in the last half a dozen pages than I got through the whole book. Does that, if you see what I mean, you know, that the personal insight that Kate Grenville came into her grandmother in those last few pages. I, I got I, I felt that I knew Dolly more than I had in the other two hundred and forty odd pages. I liked the story, but I wanted more. This is a book that left me wanting more because I wanted to get to know Dolly and I wanted to see Australia. And I did neither of those things. So, oh, you can all come down the comments and say you disagree with me. I don't mind. I'm a big girl. But this is just my opinion. And, you know, 
different books speak to different people and this one didn't really speak to me so another one i've i've now <laughs> I'm up to date again. I've got to wait for the library to text me and say, we've got another book. Um, so I haven't really got another one on the Women's Prize for Fiction to read at the moment. So happy reading. Take care.